Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And yes, we just concluded that amazing conversation with DJ Mizi. And it gave us, you know, that good morning vibe. You know, like you do it on the show. It's good energy and good vibes always. And yes, yeah, they say all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. But all play and no work makes um, Jack a dollar boy <laughs> yeah so at the end of the day we still have to go into the business of the day and you know we have to fill you in on what's going on around the world of entertainment and this one is on controversial singer and blogger Tunde Ed Knott who is currently off the grid as his Instagram account is currently deactivated this is coming days after Nigerians lambasted the singer never to sing again after he released the song featuring David Doe and Siwa Savage Tunde Ed Knott who is known for throwing jabs at whosoever pleases seems to have been building an empire filled with enemies as social media users rejoiced over the loss of his page. Hmm. Well, in case you're wondering, like, why would Instagram want to take off your page? You know, there's this community guidelines that Instagram has, so I'll just tell you a few of them and a few things they frown upon when you do it. So you must post only your own photos and videos. Instagram frowns upon stealing or reposting other people's permission Always follow the law. It's a bit vague, but hopefully they clear that up later on. Respect everyone. Instagram has been in the spotlight for being a place that isn't great for mental health. Of course, this comes down to the people on Instagram rather than the app itself. So Instagram are taking online bullying more serious. Don't spam people. Don't post nudity. Instagram celebrates a diverse community of people, but this can only be successful if people are respectful. This community guidelines are here to encourage respect, kindness in the massive online community. When you sign up to Instagram, you agree to their terms of use, which include all of the guidelines that I just listed. So what happens if you violate the terms of use? Well, what happens to the or not? So what's your take on this? Um, I, I don't want to sound like I'm happy for somebody's demise. My Instagram got hacked begin, middle of the year, and I know how painful it was. Mm. Instagram used to be the place where I would actually dump my memories. It was like my Google Drive or something. Mm. All my travels for from like maybe 15 years that one mm. day that I probably would never get back. So um, even just the work as well, like the work you put into taking your pictures and all that. And I don't. They also said that I had um, my account was exposed. So I think my third. I used a third party app to either do a repost or something and then said it broke the guidelines and they deactivated it. So it's fair to say that I understand or at least I can I can relate to. Um, Tunde's loss in, in that aspect. Uh, but am I, am I sad or do I feel like it was unfair or unjust for Tunde? Absolutely not. I've said it a million times on this table. It's I, quite essential. I don't like him. I don't like mm. anything he stands for. I know I'm not the most... A lot of things don't, I don't find a lot of things funny. And some people even argue that I'm a bit too serious, but it's okay, whatever. I'm not, I just, I'm not shallow thinking. I, I like to think deeper than things. And I just find him really offensive with how he jokes about people's work, or how he talks about women, and how he um, promotes um, drama. And it's just, it's just a really toxic space. So if, if Instagram is going to talk about all the backlash that they've received, about the, about, that, about the app being unsafe for your mental health or whatever, I think um, Tsunde's Ednos page is a good example of mm. what that looks like, in my mm. opinion. True. So, True. Um, yeah, whatever. You'll be fine. Mm -hmm. You'll be fine. Okay, me I've always seen um, today Ed not as a cyber bully. Mm. To me, that's why I unfollowed him on Instagram. That's just me personally. I see him as a um, cyber bully. Because there's a thin line between entertaining people mm. and embarrassing someone. Yeah. There's like all bloggers, they entertain, like Ninja, um, Ninja Online, Yabba Left. You don't see them um, embarrassing Collect you on their set. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But my, my point is, um, you don't see other bloggers. Um, embarrassing people like one, one time I, I saw today not post a picture of a lady with acne on her face mm. and i called it coolie coolie like come on now that is so mm. insensitive so many people are conscious about this thing on their mm -hmm. face you can she can read that now freckles by the way no, the pa uh, freckles and what are like? not the oh, same. Acne. Acne, yes, oh, yes, on her face. They were really huge. You know, called out that she has coolie on her face. So many people used to, I've read in a post that she was actually depressed of over her, acne over her face. So imagine that girl reading it and she starts feeling her uh, self-esteem now reduces. Like He promotes rape. Mm. You, you post a girl with like, really skimpy clothes and you say, 
later now you say we are raping you. Some, he's it very doesn't make sense. sense. Mm -mm. Well, and, nah, uh, sorry, mm -mm. sorry. And do you remember this I'm fight good. with um Joe? Yeah, you remember? I remember. I that. just love what Joe did to him. Like he called him out. I even saw um you saw the picture um text messages that he was exchanging with his fans, insulting their mothers. Your mother would die. Mm. So to me, I don't know why it took this long. They should have done something about it. I, absolutely, it took too I, can't, long. I can't count how many times I have personally reported. Um, uh, Tunde is not supposed mm -hmm. to like to me. I've never even followed it before, but every time it gets to my timeline, I'm like, What is this? Um, and I think this should go out to a lot of cyber bullies. And also, since we're talking about Instagram, give them a lot of kudos for that. Um, TikTok yeah. is another space that I'm waiting for them to catch up, but it is your responsibility to make sure that you are not allowing the ills of the world to thrive. Yes, you cannot control everybody's thinking, but you shouldn't feel too confident. So, for me, this is a good really really good um action because it's going to send a message to a lot more trust me there's a lot more today out to the out there okay. i just think it's a really big fish mm. um but you know to send a message to all the other cyber bullies that listen if you think you can go on just feeling like you're invisible mm. because you are behind a, a keyboard mm. and you can't say anything that you want to say then you, you know your your account can be taken away from you a few years ago if you say your account can be taken away from you it's not really a big deal but we know what accounts are today we mm. know that this guy was Money living making. off his account so yeah it would actually burn you well all you influencers quote unquote and you don't do anything else but influence and hurt people and say the worst things they're also coming for you so i'm happy yeah personally <laughs> i just think um it's amazing that the world is becoming a whole lot more conscious about people's mental spaces because um instagram is one place that has always contributed to um you know mental health and um you know depression and all of that you know people feel like when they are on instagram and you see your friend doing something you're not doing people get into depression so not to now talk of when somebody actually uses their words on such but it's depressing enough to be on social media for some people mm -hmm. now when you now start saying things that even get you you know that makes you lose your self-confidence your self-esteem mm -hmm. your pride and you feel like you're nothing and you're sh um, body shaming people talking down people talking down people's marriages or you think you should have an opinion about everything that somebody puts out there so i like the fact that the world i'm not just talking about instagram is more conscious about that space for people mm -hmm. and things you know laws are being put in place nice. which is the reason i read the um instagram guidelines you know some people will be like ah do they have the rights why should they so in case you have that question i've answered you already so just make sure that when you're following all the social media platforms make sure you're following the guidelines and they are just doing the right thing it doesn't take a lot to do the right thing actually and um so to the head not i can't be bothered i don't follow you <laughs> I, I don't like your post mm. i don't even think you're funny i even think you're even but, um, way like it, it's, it's, it's too late uh -huh. to post you get mm. i see a post on another blog site like um three days ago and he's posting it and i'm like bro and then yes about that song with um, david do and <laughs> so, so as I, I can't help i mean i must go there i know you're in pain right now but you need to feel more pain that's not a christmas song that is a very depressing christmas song but we shall be moving on to a nigerian singer identified as quincy benner on social media that claimed that a guy in abuja took advantage of her and raped her she shared photos of the guy identified as alas Kaobi and recounted how they met in abuja and he allegedly raped her in a new development the guy has spoken up on what transpired and said that they had agreed to have sex for an amount which he didn't end up paying obi also shared screenshots of their chats that showed pla um, places Bena omitted in our own shared chat um, we started this conversation with wj yesterday mm -hmm. and then um, i was about to be beaten so today i'll be very careful mm -hmm. and tread softly but mm -hmm. i'll just pass the baton to you first. no i, I, I want to hear yours yeah, start it. Okay, no. You. No, start it. Start, I want to hear yours, actually. I said I'm about to be beating. Can you guys just My allow me? My not here. She can't beat you. What I'm about you? Beat Are you sure? I can't beat you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See this boot? It's looking like something you can stop me with. Mm -hmm. But let's just go. Okay, so personally, personally, um, I'm of the opinion that you're allowed to do whatever you want mm -hmm. to do. But I'm also of the opinion that don't let people go down for your own selfish reasons. Mm. Rape is a crime. Mm. Rape is an offense that could get you to jail. 
not keep it to your own end of the bargain after telling a girl, you know, transactional sex, that's the oldest business mm. in the world, you understand? Yeah. And then you tell a woman that I'm going to pay you if you give this to me, if you give your body to me. I'm not saying it's right mm. for you not to keep to your end of the bargain as a man, because mm. it speaks a lot about your integrity. Mm -hmm. You actually support. But when you don't get it, are there better ways to go? Of course, the law doesn't have any, there's no backing, um, backing yeah. from the law that you go to the police station and say, oh, this man invited me over, he said he was going to pay me, mm -hmm. and um, he didn't pay me. In fact, the police might lock you up, especially Nigerian police, especially mm -hmm. with this judgmental yeah. community or environment mm -hmm. we live in. Sure. So I know it might be a bit difficult, but there are better ways to go about it than calling a man a criminal. Because imagine that guy didn't have receipts as well. He probably would have been arrested. He probably would be in jail right now. Mm -hmm. And it's just a case of a misunderstanding or him not having an, enough integrity. So it's not because he's a criminal. It's just because he's a dull boy. Mm, okay. Okay. Um, maybe there's more of the screenshots mm. that I didn't see. But it didn't look that transactional to me. No, it was. It was there was a voice note. I don't know if you listened no, to her voice note. Voice okay, so in her voice note, she was like, uh, So, how much are you going to pay me? Are you going to book hotel for me? Like, you know, I'm yeah, not but she already explained all of that. That she was saying that from an artist perspective, no, like this one, she the guy was out right. The guy kept on typing. There was a place when he said that you're mm, too sweet, I don't want to lose it. That I already enjoyed okay. your mm, so I mm. want to have more of it. So, I don't want okay. to. So, he was actually paying for the. Mm, do you understand? Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, false accusation is something that... Mm. I mean, I, I want to say I hate it more than rape, but that's not true. Rape is still a lot more offensive, yeah. but it's just as dis despicable to me. Mm. Um, it's like giving you a gun. Um, you, it's like, no, it's like you take a gun and you use it to shoot people. Like, and it's not supposed to be weaponized. Mm. Calling out your, your perpetrator, your, mm. the person that abused you or took advantage of you mm. is something that's supposed to be elevating. It's supposed to help. It's supposed to help people. Other women. Yeah. Mm. It's supposed to help yourself, help other people. It's and supposed to be of such it's supposed crime. to even be this um in, in quote unquote a beautiful thing that you are removing yourself from the bondage of secrecy mm -hmm. of what has been has happened to you and all that. Mm -hmm. And then women come together, at least that's how I interact mm -hmm. with people who come out with it. And we come together, support you and ride with you through it. So I find it really awful when people take that aspect, because especially when they know that that's what it's supposed to be for. Mm -hmm. And then you use it to draw clouds to yourself mm -hmm. or to or to even like evade your mm -hmm. ills. Um, I cannot tell you what to do with your body. True. If anything, I'm not even against transactional sex. I'm not. If you want to do that, do that. I would not push for it, but I'm not against it. Um, but if you've decided that's, that's what you want to do, you have to do it with your full chest. If there's anything I don't like, it's people who do things that they, 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 are not, they cannot stomach. Like you find strippers or prostitutes who come on social media and they're even talking to their girls about yeah. like what to do this crit. Like they've done it with their full chest. Like, listen, this is who I am. This is what I'm doing. Mm. And they own that space. My problem mm. with this girl is that she, it seems like she, she didn't want people to know that that's what she was doing. Mm, okay. So she had to create another story to kind of deviate from the fact yeah. that yes. you wanted to do that. Yes. And I think that is a criminal. If it's not a criminal offense, it should be a criminal it offense is. It is. already. It is. Um, it's deprivation of character. Yeah, right? you're destroying yes. somebody's life. And mm -hmm. it's because, you know, it could have gone worse. There's some people who act a lot faster. If you put her in a different situation where she said, oh, this guy raped her, there could have been mob justice. There could have been a mm -hmm. lot more things. Sure. You don't know what has happened to this man's life, what he's mm -hmm. losing and all of that. For the mere fact that he wanted sex from somebody who was willing to give mm -hmm. him, like... It makes no sense. Yeah. Uh, but in regards to the to the man, I still think it's, a, it's very cowardly for you to do that. Okay. And um, we need to talk about that a lot more. Mm. If you're going to, I'm not going to preach here, like I already mentioned a million times. I'm not going to mm. preach that it's wrong and don't do do. But if you're doing, can you at least let your yes be your yes? yes. Is it, this, know, is it still know. this mindset of like, uh, it's just a girl anyway, so I can swindle mm. her? Because they don't have that kind of mindset. They don't have that kind of chest to be doing yeah. it to every man that they meet but it seems like it's more eminent when you start to have dealings okay. with women and i don't like that and then either. she started charging from hundred dollars and mm -hmm. settled for two hundred dollars so i don't know i don't know i just feel like man come on man put some put some respect on it okay please have it. That's what she <laughs> yeah. well, well, put the price for two hundred dollars i said there's 50 naira so Wait. what are you talking about there's 50 naira yes i, I can't uh -uh. down uh, if i go to the bus stop 
50 yes, naira. 100 naira. <coughs> Food even. <coughs> Uh -oh. <coughs> what are we talking about? Can I talk? Oh. Okay. <laughs> 50 naira. 50 naira, if fair. So, if someone, she wants to put a value, it's up to her to put the value on, on mm -hmm. herself, what she wants mm -hmm. to put herself on. But, I, I'm, okay, I don't want to go and think for her, but have okay. you ever been in that situation? I'll ask you more because you're not a girl. Okay. Um, where of you are, not. you are I'm having a conversation like with, <laughs> <laughs> you're having a conversation <laughs> with a man that you need to work with and mm -hmm. he keeps on bringing in sex but you mm. ignore it like mm -hmm. i don't know how to explain it you know that I that's what, what he wants yeah. okay. but you, 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 are, you keep on talking mm. and encouraging the conversation but you're not necessarily agreeing to the Why sex do you think I won't have, I've, I've had ladies that you have conversation and they keep talking about sex and you know that's exactly what they want it's five for some what you guys think we're the only okay. ones thirsty no you're the ones that are asking in this situation like i've had a dealings okay for example i know i'm mm. going to meet up, meet up with this person in abuja mm. right okay. mm. like and i know that this person wants to have sex with me True. but he's the only person that is my source to getting me to whatever whatever and I start talking, like, yeah, okay, so I go to come and pick me up at the airport and drop me off at this I event. In, and he's like, bringing in uh -huh. sex. And I'm just like, whatever. I keep on, keep on having my conversation. Mm -hmm. It might look like I'm kind of I like agreeing, it. but I'm going to get there and just go That's home. That's not the case here, though. I get where um, you're yes. coming from, but that is completely... Mm -hmm. This one is that before she left Lagos, she knew what she was coming to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Like, she knew that, okay, this no, is exactly... She needs to be persecuted for that. No cap. Pay, and I'm going to get paid for this. The guy even used this point to pay in a very luxurious hotel for her as well. True. So uh, she called it audio. But the guy was paying with his points. Points does not come with room service. Mm -hmm. Does not come with uh, food. Does not come. So the True. fact that I'm giving you a room and then they are not giving you food and you have to pay for the food, it doesn't mean it's a fake room. Just mm -hmm. I'm a very good customer that has been in that hotel yes, for a long time. for many times and I have points. But it's all good. We need to go.